A group, Partnership for Issue-Based Campaigns in Nigeria, PCAN, in collaboration with Legal Awareness for Nigerian Women, LOM, uh, and a partnership uh, to engage, reform, and learn, Pearl, has organized a one-day agenda-setting dialogue with political candidates and CSOs, and that's ahead of the 2023 general elections, on the need to tackle insecurity and revive the educational sector in the country. Uh, plus the news from uh, Habila Darofai filed in this report, as presented from our studios. The convener of the group, Joseph Goljay, stated that the aim is for political candidates to interact with CSOs to see to having a conducive atmosphere for the citizens and to foster ways for peaceful campaigns during the elections. About 645 people were killed as a result of banditry and other criminalities within the state. And this is more than half of what was the number in 2021. This is an issue that um, we need to look at. Unemployment and underemployment, 67%. And this is also a huge, huge challenge for especially young people. Speaking, Kaduna Deputy Governorship Candidate of People's Democratic Party, PDP, John Ayuba, promised to ensure job security, especially that of teachers in the state, and also rolled out strategies to ensure the safety of lives and properties of every citizen. The distances be between the points where the current security uh, operatives are and where incidents take place, the distance is too much. The roads are not good, so for them to get there, a lot of havoc has already been done. So we want, I mean, to our program on security to be based on communities and it will be in terms of empowering the communities to be at least the first line of resistance. The Labour Party candidate, Honorable Jonathan Ashake, on his own part, said that the state of insecurity in the state has extended to the entire country and promised to make dealing with insecurity his topmost agenda if he emerges the winner of the 2023 election. Without security, virtually everything comes to a standstill. We can see presently in Kaduna State, um, businesses have folded up. Investors have taken their flight out of the state. And in fact, uh, uh, even out of the country, uh, small and medium businesses are closed down. And uh, schools, which are mostly in the rural communities and in the suburbs of the city, have closed down. Also speaking, the People's Redemption Party PRP governorship candidate Hayatuddin Mekarfi stated that the core areas of priority will be social justice, economic skills and education. The reason why people feel disgruntled or feel disenfranchised or feel uh, marginalized is as a result of the decay or failure of the social justice system. And there are so many areas that we want to look into in terms of how we decongest the prisons and the administration of um, 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 justice in the courts. In attendance at the event were all governorship candidates People living with disabilities, PWDs, civil society organizations, and electorate, among others. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.